guys, welcome to the vlog. I have to be quiet right now because Max and Brody are still sleeping. It's like 8.30ish. Just finished my morning workout. I'm sure you can tell. Oh, Brody here is up to get him so he doesn't wake up Max. But I just did a little soul cycle class on my soul bike. I'm so not used to it because I haven't been home in so long since we were just away for two weeks. So that like killed me, but it felt so good. To get moving, get it done with early, and I gotta go shower. I'm starving, so I'm gonna make oatmeal and I'm gonna get Brody. <laughs> good morning, you. Good morning, sweet pea. So excited to see me. Don't you love how when you have a dog, they act like they haven't seen you in a hundred years? <laughs> Even if it's been one hour. Hi, good morning, yes. Good morning. Like, how can you not be so dang happy and joyful with a dog? Like, look at him. Yes, hi, happy dog. I'm making my oatmeal right now. And I just want to show you guys this. If you remember from my sophomore, junior year of college, I still have this note for my dad in my oatmeal container. And it just made me smile this morning. Something cute, a little fun note from him. Okay, here's my oatmeal, you guys. I never do it this way. I've actually never done it this way. But it looks really funny to me. I always put peanut butter on the side and kind of like eat my fruit with the oatmeal with peanut butter, if that makes sense. But I tried mixing it in today. So I just used some of that peanut butter. It's probably not the best for you. I should probably use like an actual natural one. And this one probably has like sugar and stuff added in there, but it tastes really good. And then mixing some chia seeds and some strawberries on top because I kind of tried to make it like how I make my overnight oats, how I mix in the peanut butter, let it sit overnight. I kind of wish I made overnight oats. I like those better than normal oatmeal, but yeah, I'm sure it'll still be good. It just looks funny to me to have like the peanut butter mixed in the chia seeds because it's like hot oatmeal. I don't know. It'll be good though. And with the strawberries, it's stiff. I usually do banana, but lately I've been loving the strawberries on top. Okay, I feel like this is a fun angle right now so you can't even really see my setup but I can have my computer have my notes open ready to record my podcast the mic can you like see it back here and we are going to get potting I have a very productive scheduled day today I literally have every hour planned out in my planner right here from June 3rd yeah from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. <laughs> like every hour and a half an hour but I just need today to be a productive day to feel like good but I'm so excited to record my podcast right now because I like love what I'm talking about and I get so like chit chatty it's like such a fun part of what I do on social media like YouTube Instagram but my podcast is like my little baby so if you guys don't listen to happy hour you totally should because it's a really fun time. Give it a go. If you haven't listened in the past, I'll link my podcast down below. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, last thing you saw was me recording my podcast, which didn't take too long. Really good vibes. So much fun. I was telling him what I told you. I was just so excited and in the best mood for recording. I was like looking forward to it. So fun. The thing that wasn't fun was the three hour phone call that ensued afterwards. I'm like, my eyes are literally gonna start bleeding if I like look at my computer for one more minute and like I just felt so drained I had like the longest call with my accountant going through stuff because we're like switching no one cares boring adult blah 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 but oh my gosh I'm like so drained from that I just went on a little potty I was telling Max I was taking Brody on a potty party in the rain <laughs> we had a potty party in the rain because I needed to get out of here and get my face away from the screen and it was raining but I just didn't even care because yeah I just wanted to like get outside so that was fun we had a potty party got a little wet but that's okay and now I'm just feeding Brody do you know you're getting your food he's like oh yeah I just pulled out we always keep it in this cabinet right here but I just pulled it out so I could show you guys this is just the kibble that he gets every day it's just really high quality dog food do you guys call your dog food kibble by the way Max family was just asking us I digress they're like why do you call it kibble and we're like I don't know isn't that just what like it's called that's what we always call it but he does the hunt and flock in because it's just good for like your large breeds and golden retriever and it's actually the first holistic pet food company started in America solid gold. Do you hear him eating the leftovers in there? There's probably like a couple kibbles left in his bowl, but I wanted to remind you guys because I get questions about what we feed him. You guys call this kibble, right? If you have a dog and this is the food that you feed them, kibble? Or do we just call it that? Do you have a different name for this? Oh, look, it literally said right on there, America's first holistic pet food since 1974. I've talked about this before, but I just feel like I really align with solid gold and just their beliefs as a holistic pet food company that like really high quality dog food, pet food, cat food. They have cat food too if you have cats is just the best way to impact our pets life mind health everything like that and since he in specific deals with environmental allergies i know that's something that a 
lot of gold and steel with, huh, buddy? You get really sniffly. <laughs> That's why for this tired guy in specific, supporting his digestive system is just really important to me. Something you may not know, but 80% of their immune system is actually impacted by their gut health, and their food has amazing things in it. Ingredients that we love as humans as well, like superfoods, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, probiotics, which just help with balance overall, like it does in us. It also helps for balance in our pets. So I'll have Solid Gold linked down below in the description, and you guys can go to solidgoldpet.com slash Gretchen. It will get you 30% off select Solid Gold products. Okay, maybe we're too tired to eat right now. Do any of your guys' pets, I swear it's just Brody and my mom's dog, Teddy. Like every other dog I know, when you fill up their bowl, they like scarf down their food right away. But Teddy and Brody are grazers. Like I'll fill up his bowl right now and I'll kind of pick at it. Maybe at one time if he gets really hungry, he'll eat a lot. Like when I just started filming over there, you guys heard him like munching a little bit. But he's never like scarfing down his whole bowl. Just kind of eats when he's hungry, when it's convenient to him. Huh. All right, you guys, it's way later. It's getting into the evening. I just got nice and cozy. Threw my hair up, and I thought we could do a little unboxing together. I thought this would be so fun. I feel like whenever I go away on vacay, I'm away for like two weeks like I was, I come back to so many packages. And in my head, I had so many, and I guess it's just like one, two, three, four, five, six. I swear I had more. Maybe I'm like forgetting some. I don't know, but I thought we could do a fun little unboxing moment together. And yeah, let's just get on into it. I kind of started without you guys, and then I was like, wait, I want to show the block. So, first package is from SoulCycle. Thank you so much, SoulCycle, by the way, for sending this over. This is a ombre crew neck sweatshirt, and I live in crew neck sweatshirts. Obviously, I'm wearing one right now, and it's just like, you know, like I said, ombre, really colorful, cute, it says soul, and it's just like big and cozy, white. If you look at my closet, the majority is white crew neck sweatshirts. I'm just obsessed with sweatshirts, cozy. The crew neck, I don't like the hoodies, hooded sweatshirts as much as crew necks. And then this set, are you kidding me? I'm sure this is for Pride Month since it's rainbow, which I love. I think this is so awesome. I love that they celebrate Pride so much at Soul Cycle. So it's just like black sports bra and then the back is so dang cute, just like the rainbow detail. Oh, and it says soul if you didn't see, and kind of like rainbow colors on the back too. I just love this, this is seriously the cutest set. I can work out, I'm gonna wear this like tomorrow to work out. And yeah, it's just like rainbow, little stripes on the leggings as well. The same sole right there, and rainbow. Oh, I love that they're high waisted. Black is my favorite to work out in, of course. I'm trying to make it so you can't See my apartment number, which is like written all over these, so I have to like hold these strategically here. Okay, next up, this is so boring. And you know what? Tea, you guys. I'm allowed to say this because I've never been sponsored by Quip. I've always just bought them myself. But I feel like they don't last that long. I think I'm switching after this. I'm gonna cancel my subscription where I get oh, where I get the um, refill brush every month. Which don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to badmouth them. I love my Quip. Like I've always just paid for it with my own money, obviously. And then every three months, I believe, I get this head replacement in the mail and it was just like better for the environment it's less plastic than like throwing out your whole toothbrush did i just get this stuck in here i think i did okay <laughs> anyway let's see i get two one for max's clip and one for mine let's see if i can fix this this time why can't i get it out oh there we go so it's just like the little brush head replacement. My issue with them is when they work, they work great, love it, but I don't think they're very like durable. And I've had mine for probably a year and a half now, but I feel like they're supposed to last like forever. It also comes with a battery replacement in here. And every time I use my Quip, I kind of have to like bang it against this thing to get it to like turn on and vibrate. A lot of times like you press the turn on and it just won't vibrate. And yeah, Max and I have had lots of like technical difficulties with them. So I think I may be switching to a new toothbrush because it's kind of a headache and some kind of fucking shit. But <laughs> but I like them for the time being. It's great when it works great, but I feel like it breaks a lot. Maybe it's just mine in specific. Maybe it's like literally just my brush and other ones are great. Maybe you guys have never had any issues. I don't know. But that's just my experience. And then next up, let's do Liquid IV. My favorite. I'm so excited. I freaking love Liquid IV. If you guys have ever been to my apartment, you know. Our whole top shelf of our pantry is like legit all Liquid IV. Like Max loves it, obviously being an athlete, like recovery, everything. I love it because I just know that I don't drink enough water. And it says, just look. Just, just, I was going to say read. Just 
take it in because I'm explaining it horribly. It's like one glass of water is like three bottles of water with the stick because it's just a bunch of electrolytes and hydration. Liquid IV hooked it up because they know my favorite flavors are lemon, lime, and strawberry. These are by far my favorites. Honestly, I'm not that picky though. I kind of love all of them. The lemon edition apple pie was so good. The guava, the passion fruit, the kaigo one, which is pina colada, I love. Also love, honestly, my new favorite, like legit favorite of all time, probably the pear flavor, which I know is like their newest one. Oh my gosh, I need to get more of the pear because it is so dang good. And then let's do haste to buy. So I was not, oh, hello. <laughs> I was not expecting this. What a pleasant surprise. Oh my God. So I did here, I think they're making water bottles and this is so fun. Thank you for making a conscious choice in order to minimize bacteria, blah, blah, blah. Wait. I think it says thank you for making a conscious choice just because they're like eco-friendly reusable water bottles. Oh my God, wait, I didn't even realize. Duh, Gretchen, can I read? It says Gretchen. It's like engraved right there. Can you even read that? It says Gretchen in cursive. That's so fun. Like you can customize the water bottles like you could. Their phone cases, you guys know their phone cases are my favorite of all time. <gasps> I'm such a fan. I'm already obsessed that this is, oh yeah, it's like, to be a little carrying thing. I'm obsessed that this is a big one because I feel like sometimes they're like smaller, skinny, reusable water bottles, but this one's like thick and tall. So you have to refill it like 800 times during the day. Oh, I love that. Okay, I can't wait to see this one. I need to get one that says Brody. Oh, these have to be their little hand wipes. Yes, because I know they come with like all of their packages now, just like sanitizing little wipes for your phone. Insulation better for the planet. Stainless steel water bottle features hydrophy hydro technology, which means they're engineered double wall vacuum insulated. Keep your beverages cold up to 24 hours, hot to 12 hours. Sweet. Professional grade stainless steel. One bottle, one planet. Taste it by conscious. Oh, ooh, I love this. Okay, this is my favorite. I'm getting up close so you can see the color. It's like this mauve color. Can we see? It says Gretchen in white. Ooh, I feel like this is not focusing right now. There you go. How stunning. Okay, I love these. I cannot wait to use those. All right, then I know I'm doing a video with Nasty Hell soon, so I don't want to give it away, but I thought the cutest clothes, you guys. I'll show you like three things. How about that? A little sneak preview. I was so excited when I found this on their website. I was like, oh, gasp. I've been wanting a big like, oversized white blazer that I could dress up and dress down. Oh my gosh, I have like little packages, like rubber boxes that are and stuff right now. Just stunning. Just stunning. You know my blazer. Blazers are so in Brody and I don't have nearly enough to be cute and dress up a bit. Matching white pants, like a little bit flowy, long, high-waisted will go with the blazer. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. Okay, last thing I will show you guys. This dress, when I saw it, I gasped. I was like, oh, I feel like I'm not even an orange girl, but this spoke to me. Brody eating his kibble. Look at this. Obviously, it's like a bodycon dress, and it's so hard to show. Like, your neck goes through here, and then this is just like a cutout right here. Oh, I can't wait to style this. This with the white blazer, so cute. Oh my gosh. I am so excited for these pieces. Oh, I thought you guys could see Brody. You can't see him. Okay, last but not least, I just, well, in my head, I placed the biggest aloe order. I guess it isn't even that many pieces. I was fully influenced by Chase. Shout out Chase, Max's sister. She has this little set from Aloe, the Muse sweatpants and sweatshirts in gray. And I was like, oh my gosh, Chase. I've been looking at that for so long in Aloe, but I don't know what size I would be for like the fit I want. Like, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know about the quality. I really want the bone color. And she was like, dude, you need it. They're so comfy. She wears them all the time. And it was so nice because I could try hers on and be like, oh yeah, perfect. Like that's the size I need. So yes, it's just like, I don't even know how to describe it. It almost feels like, I don't know. I'm so bad at describing it. It's like a ribbed sort of material, but really soft and like thick and nice. And just like it feels like really nice quality like it's not gonna pill or get all messed up or anything so i'm so obsessed has a little pocket on the back i would say if it's a little oversized because this is a small and if i typically for pants if i would want them to fit me this way like a little bit oversized a little room i'd probably get a medium i think these just must run a little bit oversized because that's like how they're fit like comfy joggery not too tight and then i got the matching i think this is like a 
cropped hoodie. Yeah, definitely cropped to go with bone color. Oh, by the way, this is on sale. Chase was like, oh, if you wanted the bone, like it's literally on sale, you need to get it right now. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's literally the color I wanted. And the hoodie in the back, me in cream. Just cream everything, white everything. Just makes me feel so zen and cozy. So I'm so excited for that. But obviously you can't just get that. You have to get more. Oh, I already have like three or four of these aloe tie-dye totes. I'm gonna give this to like my friend or my mom or my sister or something because I have so many of these. Like we, these are so great though. They're so useful. I use mine as like a beach bag, a pool bag. One of them is like Brody's toy bag in our closet. And it's so nice whenever we go anywhere, we like grab it and put all the stuff in there. Cause it's so, this is like a never ending bag with Mary Poppins bag. Is that what it's called? Where it just like fits everything in there. So those are the best. Then this little sports bra, Brody. He's like chugging his water. Caught my eye. This is the Wild Thing bra, black, and it just cinches in the front and is looks like that in the back. I don't know. I just really like the little rouged, cinchy detail right here. I don't think I have a sports bra like that, but it was really cute and aloe. It's just such good quality. Oh, I forgot about these. Okay, now I'm so excited. Wow, I'm putting these on right now. These are gonna be so comfy. These are the Accolade sweat shorts and. I'm really influenced by Chase. She had these in a darker gray, and this is the gray Heather. Yeah, see, these also seem like they look like a medium to me, but they're a small, so I would definitely get your normal size or size down if you want them tight or something, because these look like oversized, but how comfy. Oh my gosh, that's fun. It's like a silver logo right there, if you see. Oh, these are gonna be so comfy. I'm gonna be living in these. Remember I got, Oh my god, they have pockets. I was about to complain. I had gray sweatshorts before and they were like tight and didn't have pockets. And I'm like, yeah, these are just not not it for me. Oh, and they have like the little drawstring. Wow, putting these on right now. They're gonna be so comfy. Thank you for joining me during my unboxing. That's all. Taking Brody on a little nighttime stroll. He's We've got been a doing this lately. It's been our new. Yeah, new I love routine. a nighttime stroll. And it's like norm out, so it's yeah. fine. And then we gotta watch Prison Break. We just started. It's gonna suck us right in. Mm -hmm. We'll be up no, all night. No staying up till 3 a.m. We you have never to know. have never like did. depends. Self, will, willpower. Discipline. We have to have the willpower and the discipline tonight. Because the willpower. show just sucks you in. I was talking about in my podcast I recorded this morning that I sort of like think about it in the back of my head all day. Like, ooh, I just mm -hmm. wanna get all my things done so I can sit on the couch and watch it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna do that since. Except I don't have things anymore. So I just wait around. <laughs> you wait around there for was me. a time. I think you need to be my employee this summer. Mm. My intern, we can get you an internship with me. I feel like I already am. Yeah, you like are. <laughs> you already do so much for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. See ya.